I'd like to just spend a little time uh, talking about uh, sports and um, particular contact sports. As you are well aware that uh, Governor uh, Bill Lee uh, issued an executive order, uh, order number 55, which pretty much allows for schools to permit uh, or not permit, it's up to them, the return of sport activities, contact sport um, activities, as long as these uh, schools abide by the guidelines set within the uh, TSSA. He also uh, indicated in his executive order that non-school-sponsored activities, uh, athletic activities, were to be governed by the guidelines uh, from the uh, Economic Recovery Group, uh, of the uh, Tennessee Pledge, and that collegiate and professional sports uh, were to follow the guidelines by their given uh, associations. As you may also uh, well uh, know, uh, have heard that the University of Memphis announced uh, their plans as it relates to football and uh, the fact that there will be a limited number of people who can actually attend the games and see them in person. And based on our recommendations and requirements that those uh, number of persons who can attend will be limited by the distance in which they have to seat, uh, sit. So they have to uh, be at least 12 feet apart. Uh, as a result of that particular requirement, uh, I was instructed and told by the university that they were only allow 4,500 people uh, to uh, attend the um, sporting event, the games. Now, some of you may ask, why would you uh, require 12 feet separation while uh, in other places is six feet separation? And the reason for that is because several studies have shown that when people yell, when they cheer, speak loud, or sing, that they actually project respiratory uh, saliva secretions and potentially the virus further than six feet. That six feet separation is not enough. That uh, they could potentially project it 18 feet, and some studies have shown or suggested it may go as far as 27. So the Bike to Business Committee along with the health department after uh, discussing it with uh, the medical experts, we felt that a comfortable compromise uh, would be 12 feet doubling what typically we we're rep uh, recommending for normal conversation or normal interaction. Also, we're requiring that people still adhere to wearing the facial covering and mask knowing that in some instances in this game uh, sporting event situation that people may not adhere to this all the time. So again, it was important that 12 feet uh, separation uh, occur. Actually, this uh, requirement uh, has already been established uh, for those who uh, may have attended the soccer uh, match there at Auto Zone, uh, experienced it, and we find that that model works pretty good. 
And we find that it allows us to be somewhat uh, confident and uh, uh, comfortable with uh, having uh, sporting events in which fans can attend. Please keep in mind that there are some places that have decided not to allow any fans in the stands. We are trying to maintain safety, number one, and we're concerned by the safety of our citizens, but number two, trying to uh, do it in a way that we can experience some sense of normalcy, some life, some activity. And so we felt that um, allowing um, people to attend sporting events separated 12 feet apart with wearing facial covering and mask and it being outdoors would be a safe thing to, uh, to do.